Welcome to the official Bowtie Setting Tutorial with myself, Miles McDonald. This is a setting I pioneered about a year and a half ago and I'm happy to share it with you all. If this is your first time, I recommend using round wire. Today we're using 22 gauge round and 26 gauge round. We have about six inches of each of these wires and to start we're going to just simply bend it in half and that'll be the start of our setting. Our first bend is just to get the two wires running parallel to each other. I prefer to do it with one wire and cut it later. It just kind of holds the whole piece together for now. Once we know about how long we want our tie-off to be on one end, which only needs to be about an inch, sometimes I do more, sometimes less, depends on where this piece is going. Then we make our second and our third bends to the wire, which will help set us up. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps with how YouTube recommends this video to others. So now we have the very first bent wires that'll be holding our stone. So from this point, we're gonna tighten this up a little bit. I'm just keeping everything always really tight. Here we'll grab just the edge and bend that around the pliers. And this will be the first cradle for our first stone to sit in. Tightening it up. Then you can kind of see where the stone will start to fit in that setting. We have about one quarter of one stone setting finished. So working with the four millimeter stones, we want to make sure that the setting is holding tight. So we want the edge of the opening to also be about four millimeters. So we'll bend that over. And before we continue, let's just see how that stone fits. Perfect. So that's one side. So now we will finish off this half of that setting. And the remainder wire will lead to more places for stones to go. So again, for reference, here's a mostly completed piece to show you where we're going with this. That one was actually with square wire. That will be on a tutorial on my Patreon. You could build down the right side and do it stone per stone, but I prefer to go down one side and get all of my stone settings ready to go down one side. So that first wire on the right is kind of just bent out of the way for now. We'll come back to the right side and bend a symmetrical set later. So we're just going to keep bending these around. I'm speeding this up a little bit. I'm not this fast. Bending that around, tightening it up as we go. This is a setting I normally like to do in square wire, but for learning it the first time, I do recommend round wire. It makes it a little bit more simple to grasp. So now we have one side ready to go. And now we'll make our symmetrical side, or our mirror image side. And you can start to see how this will hold these stones in there. So we keep bending a mirroring side. Tightening it up. Now we're mostly finished with 22 gauge wire and it's time to pick up our 26 gauge wire. So I like to secure the 26 gauge wire around one of the 22 gauge. I think that's a more secure tie off. And it kind of went out of focus there for a little bit, but there will be a better look at this at the end. Bring these first two wires together. So we'll just try to keep everything lined up. 
kind of squish it around, adjust the ends even. Try to get this all ready to go for our three stones. This sort of thing right here is why I do prefer to make the bow tie setting with square wire. But for learning sake, it is easier to get the concept down with round wire and then move on to square wire, which will be more secure, I believe. So go ahead and stone in, just open it up and slide it in. That should make it possible for the stone to fit snug. Now just pull together the next two. And we're going to keep going in the same direction of the twist that we had before. So that's going across the bottom of the stone. Tie it together right in the middle. So the stone doesn't sit in there exactly perfect. It's not exposed the way I think that it should be at this moment. But we're going to come back through at the very end and we're going to tighten this up a little bit. We're going to squeeze in between the settings. We're going to kind of adjust, tighten it up. You can see later, I'll even be able to bend this whole piece into a U without the stones coming loose. So we got one stone ready to go. And I'm going to keep tightening up all these little points as I set stones. So we'll go ahead and fit our second stone in. Just pull the wires apart and gently push it in. Once the stone is in there, it won't seem to fall out or go anywhere. You don't have to continue holding it. It'll sit pretty snug and just bring the wire across, keep going in the same direction, and bring together this second set. You can keep going with the setting as well. I think I've done over 15 in one strand, but even that included several tries to get it right and to make sure it was all lining up by the very last stone. After I set this last one in here, I'm going to go through with my pliers and I'm going to keep tightening up all the little points. This last stone is being a little bit tricky, but just kind of squeeze it in there and then you'll see how we tighten it up with the pliers. Let's bring this around, twist it up, fast forward a little bit, boom. And then so once again, I don't ever tie off around two wires like that. I make sure that my tie-offs are always just around one wire. So now that we have that, stop there. I'll chop that off. And there we have the bow tie setting. We can continue to tighten up all the little bits and just really expose the stone a lot more and to flatten it all out. Once these stones are even slightly in there, they're not going to fall out. So just tightening up all the points, making sure it's all flat, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. This setting is so versatile, it can really be worked much more after the stones have been set than any other setting that I've come across so far. I love this setting because, especially once we're done, you can bend this, you can twist it, 
You'll need to adjust it, of course, after you bend it. Sometimes some of the wires will bend ever so slightly, but not enough where the stones will come out. So now, this is that's our very first bend. I'll go ahead and chop that, and this will finish off our setting. Chop that one off. And now this is ready to be tied down into a piece. And there we have the finished bow tie setting. From here, we can bend these wires down. And that's where we can tie off to a piece. It can be a short little component or however you need to work it in. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, follow me at my Patreon, my Instagram, my website, theartofwire.com. All these links are in the description.